What's happened in the last week? Full year report last week, annual report. Things were looking a bit better. What, what, what's happened in a week? Well, what's interesting is that today's news isn't wasn't all that surprising in terms of the actual facts, right? So they're talking about headwinds from, from FX, which we can all see by just plotting a, you know, a currency graph. But I think what was um, perhaps surprising to investors was the different tone that has emerged from that. So, you know, a week ago, as you said in the annual report, you had a, a very optimistic outlook for trading business in 2018, so looking well beyond the first quarter. And then today, Investors learn well actually the first quarter may not be that strong because of these headwinds that they're facing. So Crime's quest to boost revenue still a quest. That's right. And of course, you know, on the trading side, that's going to come through potentially much faster. The other areas where he's also trying to boost revenue will take even longer. You know, for example, the corporate finance business in Germany that they're trying to grow, that doesn't happen in a quarter or two. Elisa, what must morale be like? It was only a few weeks ago that Deutsche Bank came out and said that they were going to reinstate bonuses because they really needed the talent back that they had lost. How do you think employees are taking this news? Well, I think, you know, the, what we have learned on, on compensation, as you rightly point out, is that, you know, the investment banking business there has been rewarded. And, of course, management took the hit uh, by waiving their own uh, variable compensation. And, of course, that will be a strong message to, to the bank that, um, you know, they're investing in them. So you think morale is, is going to be OK in spite of this news? I think what's interesting today is the uh, the read across to the wider industry from the, the trading comments, not just from, from Deutsche Bank, but um, the Credit Suisse CEO, uh, Tijan Tiam. He also made some remarks that were a little bit more cautious on the first quarter and the trading business. He talked about a very strong January, a February that, uh, that was, um, was rather mixed, and then a, a March that is a bit, you know, all over the place. Mm -hmm. So putting some, you know, some caution there on the trading business in the first quarter.